Oh, you will. Okay, here we are with the, the legendary Mick Barry, arguably the greatest bolt player of all time. And here he is, 52 years after Mick, I'd say your first senior score, you're back in the you're back in the final. First senior score in White Church. Your first senior white what year was it, Mick? 1939. 1939. So nearly 52 years ago, I right? this man is back here playing another final today at the age of 72. So it's a tremendous uh, testimony like, right, to the men's endurance and it's a great pleasure for all of us here Mick, to see you so well and so active like, right? and we well know that you'll give a great account of yourself here today as you did in 50 years ago as the men said like, right? so we uh, we wish you all the best Mick and we hope we talk to you and your opponent to uh, join the score and the best of them okay? Right? Okay. So, men of both being Eamon Carroll right? a famous player in his own day and still throws, by the way, like, right, at 81 years of age. Is that right, Eamon? 82. 82, sorry. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, Eamon, right? So I, I think here again like, is, a, is a great uh, advertisement for the game. Here's Mick Barry, who we just spoke to, like, at 72 years of age, in a final again today, like, right, and looking good. And here we have, alongside me, as I said, a man of 82 years of age, still playing every Tuesday, right? But the most significant thing about Eamon Carroll is that He's the founder member, right, one of the founder members of all coming to here. And uh, here with us today again, Yemen, nice to see you. And we're going to ask you, what do you think of the outcome of the score? I think that's what 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 I think that's Right, well, what you're, what you're saying is for you, isn't right? That um, it's very few all the way, and that you're giving his opponent very little chance. Now, a lot, a lot of people wouldn't agree with that because, in fairness, Tiedna, Tiedna Buckley is a very active man. I mean, would you think that 12 years of a difference in Tiedna's age? Uh, well, uh, Tiedna's side is something of an advantage. It should be with anybody else, but uh, Mick, as you know, has been an exception all his life, and I think he still is. Well, okay, Eamon, that's your word of it, and uh, we shall wait and see, as I say. So that was, that's Eamon Carroll there, right, right, at 82 years of age, 82 years young, and uh, given his prediction there as to the outcome. So we'll see you during the course of the score, Eamon, on checkered history and career of bowling as well. And you recently met Mick Barry. How was it to play? You met him in Ogden's Bridge there in, the, in, in this championship. But for the first half that I threw, he got away. I threw a very bad first half. You threw a very bad first half. Me. You must think. No, I very well. Danny was up to the from up the street, up, up to up to the, the church, the chapel, there and six months, and he was there in seven. So what you what you're saying, really, Mick, is that he's as, he's playing as well as ever, oh, and is a very tough opponent. Very, very very good. He's playing very good. Nice very because I I gave him the. I gave him the first, I gave him the first, the first, the first, the first, the first, the Okay, right. Have you any prediction for the offer today, Mick? Mick Barry is, Mick Barry is going to have it. He didn't win it, he finished that, he didn't win it. Okay, okay, right. Here's Mick Brady, like a reason opponent to Mick Barry saying, right, it has to be Barry, right, from start to finish. So, okay, Mick, thanks for your comments and we'll see you as we go on the road. He's a bit like that. <laughs> oh, he does not all about that. He is a fit man. He has muscles on the muscles, as we say. Yeah, right, Big Brady? Yeah, right, I, I, so. I don't know. You would have that. I'd love to. Sure you love sure. I know, I know. <laughs> I suppose the famous Tadena, right? Tadena, okay, the, the daddy, we say, of a long line of ball players, right? And himself, right? A very, a very active, a very active ball player now for the last uh, nearly 50 years. Right? Now, Tadena, it must be a great moment for you today, right? To be at this stage of your career, like the twilight, of, the twilight of your career, we'll say, to be playing big bang. Well, this gives me a great thrill, yeah. It gives me a great thrill to play big bang and to keep the scene playing and be. I, you're, you're happy enough to be playing him today. Like, as you say, it's, it, it was everybody's dream that they might play Barry at one stage or another in their career, and to be meeting him now is certainly a, a, a thrill. Well, I thought to the boys we meet them. Right, well, I mean, that's the way it goes. I thought to the boys we meet them, but uh, unfortunately things happened. And, uh... Right, uh, we've, inter we've interviewed a few people on the road there now, and uh, Barry, okay, seems to be a favourite, but I believe that you can give him one hell of a good run. Um, how do you consider your own chances? Well, I reckon I have no chance from Bowling Lane. Well, it took me back to the start where I should be starting. 
Would you like to have you like to have started at a uh, yeah, starting your choice? Should be starting. Well, it should be starting. I think I'd have a chance. Right, uh, but I mean, knowing as I do, like I, I still feel like right, that you can give him a run for many line, like right at this stage, like right. So well, many fellows tried that before and uh, they failed. Well, this could be your day, Tate. Now we wish you the best of luck, and we'll see you there. Right? <laughs> Johnny Desmond, right from Tilbury, right? Present uh, treasurer of Balcommon, though just resigning, and uh, I think it's myself and Jerry will be sort of hoping to uh, to take over the, the hot seat when Brendan Walsh in, uh, in a few weeks' time. But Jerry, that's not the point today, I mean, like your comment on today's score. What do you think? Well, today's score, as far as I'm concerned, it brings back memories. For some others, it's a nostalgic score. It brings back memories of days gone by. Uh, we all remember Mike McNally and his lady. He's been away for a long number of years. He's back today. And, uh, Gathered of the old people who testified as Stephen, which make us still hell. Came the Buckley, came the man that made a great contribution to the game, back to both there all his life and his family and following in his footsteps. And I can say at this time is that the indications are told that we will have a very, very, very good score. Right, Jerry, can I, can I ask you, what in your opinion does it say for the game now, right? That a man who played his first uh, score here uh, in 1939. I can come back to 1991 and contest the final. What does this say both for the man and for the game in Europe? Well, principally for the man, I would say it testifies the, 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 the quality of the man. It testifies that, uh, is it Jones? It testifies that, uh, and it testifies that they have the, principally it testifies that he have the will to come back, and it testifies that he has the concept of the game. I presume you're referring to Big Big Harry, and uh, likewise with Taylor. I would say that the same, the same uh, uh, pattern of uh, endurance, the same pattern of interest, the same pattern of uh, stamina, and, and the same pattern of spirit and contribution to the game exists today as it did way back in the Jordan and Minor days. Right, but Jerry, isn't it, isn't it also equally fair to say that it's a great uh, advertisement for the game itself? I mean, that one can sort of, uh, at 72, right, I, I was even speaking to Yaman Carroll at 82, right, he's still playing every Tuesday, you know, it's a great advertisement. Of course it is. I mean, I mean that's why we instituted this, this, this particular uh, grade. Uh, that's why we brought in the vintage and the rhythms and all of the cases from the people in five hundred years. I mean, there is the, the, there is his head is punching the steam with the stairs when they were in their glory days. Right, finally, Jerry, your verdict for today. How do you think it's all? Well, I don't know. I suppose this. Uh, I suppose we've often had that question before. We've often answered that question before. Uh, way back in the days of the valleys. Uh, Prime. And I suppose uh, if we want to uh, be asked the same question today, I suppose the same answer would be, would be, would be there. Right, well, Jerry, that seems to be the consensus coming across now, all right, that it seems to be Barry, like, right, but Tate, now we'll have a word or two to say about that, so oh, we'll see you later on. Certainly, the, the final analysis, all my deficit, wish and desire is that the best man would. Right, Jerry, well, thank you very much indeed, Jerry. Thank we'll you. see you until the corner. Here we are now with Seamus Otoma, right, the uh, Secretary of Paul Common here. Well, we were just after having an interview there, Seamus, with Big Barry and Tate and Buckley, but with Big Barry in particular, I mean, he played his first uh, senior score here 52 years ago, right? So, um, my point to you was that, right, apart from what do you think of today's outcome, uh, I put it to you that this is a fantastic advertisement for both 52 years after, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> this is a fantastic advertisement for uh, Big Barry, anyway, to be able to still stay up there in the top after 52 years, and uh, I suppose it's an indication of the men's standing in the world of bowling that there are so many people here today many men are here today i think they haven't been seen as scores for 20 30 years so uh, i think it's, it is a great occasion so like the name of barry is still magic isn't it i mean it, it really brings out the people yeah. i'm just going to ask you today seamus what's your opinion about today, well it's very hard to fix um, barry is nearly 73 years of age and it's a uh, it's a big uh, ordeal to win a championship. Tatenabok um, has been around for the last number of years. I've been more in this championship, and uh, I think it's going to be a very long and close encounter. Right, so Seamus O'Toole thinks it's going to be a very tough and close encounter. We shall wait and see. Thanks, Seamus. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I know what
Mick, we're delighted to see the, the father here on the road today, right? right and we're uh, really expecting a great score. Right? Tell me, how's his form? Okay, I'd practice shots too anyway, it was fine. Yeah, he was he was he was looking good there, right? Right, well have we wish him the very best of luck. Right, right, and a magical great senior player himself to see. Mick, what do you think of today's outcome? Um uh, by what? <laughs> Whoa, okay. Um, yes, Mick Murphy here now, one of the most eligible men in the game now, right? Big, big victory for Mick Valley. Again, Mick, we'll have to wait. <laughs>
His dear, his dear father was uh, was uh, did he was uh, six one twelve for many years there, right? So here, here we are today in White Church. What do you think of the outcome now? Uh, uh, we're, we're after throwing uh, Tatum's after throwing three shots. He's a bit shot, of a ball. Right? Uh, what do you think, John? Is going to be tight. What's uh, what's your final prediction for the outcome? Have to say, yeah. Have to say, yeah. I mean, here's a very ardent Barry fan. I was still not sure, but we're still predicting Barry. Okay. We'll see you on the rest of the score, John. Come in here. Come in here. Come in here. Right, so you think class is going to make all the difference then in the, in the long run? Okay, right, well, what we should see then is this here, right? Danny Vish, thanks for that, Danny. We are with Bill Daly. I suppose the man who's taken over the mental of Barry in in in, uh, in modern day bowling. Bill, welcome to White Church. Thanks, we have a good, uh, exciting score on our hands. I'm right with Tate now holding the advantage at the moment. We, we what do you think? Is, uh, have, what do you think is going to be the outcome? We have indeed. The old masters coming into form, I think, and then uh, at this stage. But uh, I'm delighted to be here to see these come and I hope I'll be around in 50 or 60 years time. I'll be as live as both of these. I think it's a credit to both. Well, you're right there, Bill, because I mean, Barry himself said, Way to go. This was 52 years ago this year that he played his first score here in White Church, his first senior score. So uh, we hope that your sentiments come true. We'll see it. But I want to see you, Bill, but I'm sure you'll be here in 50 years' time yourself. No problem. Bill Daly. Famous ball players, that right in the in, in, in the game, that right. Jimmy, you played McBarry yourself one time in the senior all Ireland final. What year was that? Right, and how did he fare out? Right, I mean, here we are now looking at a man here, like right, that beat McBarry right in the senior final in this prime. It's great to see you here today, Jimmy. Right, I'm, I'm sure you have, right? What do you think of the outcome? How do you well, we're down here now at the, at the farmhouse, that right, it looks like level bowling. What do you think? Very good bowling. Yes, he did indeed. Right, 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 so your final prediction, so, Jimmy? Come on, let's leave the early now! Right, Jimmy, thanks for your time. We are now with uh, the boss man in bowl coming at the moment. Don't regret it, please. Retiring this year after quite a few years in the hot seat. Brendan Roach, welcome to White Church. Right, this is a very, uh, I suppose, momentous occasion in a way for you, right? right? Because we understand it was, it's your last time as chairman uh, presenting, we say, uh, a prize, but you picked a good one. You picked the best one, I think. You did, you did, yeah. Your name, your name will be in the same esteem 
Now to bring it back to the day you now, Brendan, right, right? We're down here now, right, right at the farmhouse as we call it, right, right? Big Barry's out the corner, great bow. Tate Nest to throw his odds. What do you think now? Right, well here's a man now, right, right, whose judgment we've relied on for many years, right, right? And I'm one, right, I want to but say no, he's, he's out to give him a commitment here. He thinks that the king is going to hold out in there, so the king in this case being Barry. Right, okay, Brendan, best of luck, and uh, we'll wait and see how things go. We're just rather about coming here now, this is Christy Sentry. Christy, we're used to reading your uh, your well-written notes there every uh, every week in the Southern Star. You do a tremendous job on behalf of the game, Thanks, right? And long may you continue to do so. Now here we are at White Church now, right? We're an exciting uh, sort of a. Uh, we say we're at the halfway stage, roughly, almost halfway. We're at the bend. What do you think now, Chris? As um, I'd probably be inclined to go along there with uh, Brendan's opinion because um, Drip, only on uh, Barry has a great tradition behind him and uh, he has the experience. Right, Christy, okay. Thank you very much, Christy Sam. It's a great result for Tane if he wins it, right? What about it? I mean, he's doing very well for it. So, I mean, he have a great chance of taking the score off him, right? So, if he does it, right? So, we'll see. Uh, All right. Take two good handy players to be in with him. Good indeed. And she's a nice smooth road and a good cloud of a bad winter's day. Otherwise, he gets the ball. He has to see the ball there. Come in, dear. Come in. Come in. Tell me, John, here we are, right? midway, like right uh, to the score, like, right halfway past the Devil's Bend. Uh, Tedna appeared uh, uh, to take his opportunity. He's high in pole. What do you think of the outcome now? Well, I think Tedna had the right opportunity. You said that he seemed to throw it very wide. But still, he's playing very well. I think that. You still give him a chance, Sam, would you? Why are you on 10 cover? Very score, Tommy. Still a score, one mistake. Right, John, Jonathan, right, thank you. Oh, okay, John. Shoot, shoot the ball off. 
Here we are, anyway, Michael. Michael, just collect your weapon. You're Michael. To, to White Church, Michael. You. Uh, no, you're a man. All your lifetime involved in bowling. How many years, Mike, would you say you're, you're involved in bowling? I'm not involved in bowling since I was eight years of age. Sixty years. Sixty years. Well, that's a long time. Mick. So you're, uh, you're a man who has vast experience in the game. Okay. Mick, you played Big Barry yourself. Could you tell us about it? Well, I played him in 1954, Open Bandman. How did you get on against him? him? You beat the great McBally. Well, I mean, you were a great man yourself like yeah, in, yeah. in the game at that time, right? And I beat him in a double in the Harla. You're in, you, you played another double in the Harla. Yeah. How, when I was, was that? Jim the Gint and myself being in the DC a Harla. Right, right. right. What? was in 1958, I think. What was your own opinion? What's your own opinion of McBally? Well, my own opinion of McBally, he's the best player ever saw, boy. Well, I think that's a great tribute to make a point from a man like yourself, yeah. right, right? whose own family have a, had a great tradition in the Absolutely. game and had their own share of success as well. And myself and my son beat him anyway. Why beat him? Right, so uh, like the, the, the Driscolls gave and took as good as they got, right, that's as far right. as Mick Valley is concerned. And, well, Mick, that's... And, and Christy beat him in a double. And Christy beat him in a so double. So you could say there was three other ones and we beat him. Right, well, that's very interesting, very interesting, Mick. Tell me... Yeah, I'm in Cattle, what do we put that on the paper? Right, okay. right. What do you think of the day's outcome, Mick? It's a tight score at the moment now, right? Well, uh, There's about five shots to go as I'm talking to you. Five shots to go, but Barry is the man. Barry is the man. Mick O'Driscoll, thanks a lot. Thank you. Dan Leary, Ryan, from Waterloo, Dan. You served uh, a long time, right, as chairman of the city division. Uh, how long exactly? Uh, 28 years. 28 years, you've given tremendous service here. And uh, as I said, you, you, uh, you're sadly missed at the moment. As you know, so you never know, we might see you back again in the season. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been kept off here, I think. Do we think the way things are going. <laughs> right, listen, we're, we're coming out to within five shots of the finish then. Right, um, Big Barry has a lead of about 30 or 40 yards. What do you think yourself now uh, of the final outcome? I, I think now that he has so you're sticking with that? Okay, okay, well, that's okay, now we'll have a proper say in that, so we'll see later on, anyway, Dan. Yeah, okay, Dan. Thanks a lot of the game here. Tell me, DC, boy. Tell me, we're coming to the close of the score now. There's about five shots left there, right? What do you think of that? It seems to be everybody's opinion, but yet there's not a whole lot of odds in it. Could go in here, yeah. Right, but you're, you're still... You're still right. right. You know, I just want to ask you something, champion, I'm right? Okay, we're all a long time following the game, right? right? Have you ever seen anybody as good as Barry? No. Have you ever seen the best of all? Oh, I'm not 
This is a great occasion, uh, is because today uh, Brendan Roach, right, who has served as chairman for many, many years in Bowl Common and who succeeded the AFR uh, Crowley, is making his last presentation today as chairman. So I'd like to mark this uh, occasion in a specific way by recognising Brendan's tremendous work on behalf of Bowling. And we're all involved a long time, and there's no need for me to tell you about the tremendous work that that man had to put in. The difficulty he had to follow in the footsteps of the great Clark Crowley, but he wore the mantle well. And in thanking Brendan Roach, I'd like to wish him the very, very best in his retirement. And we hope to be able to see him at many, many scores in the future in a much more relaxed way. Thank you, Brendan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege, as Noel has said, to make this presentation with my last presentation as chairman. And what fitting climax it could be to my time as uh, an officer of board coming here, and I've served for 21 years. And I'm delighted that it was for the vintage. As Noel said, a competition, when we started this competition, we had a lot of knockers saying that we'd have no, no participation in it. And you could see from the crowd today on the road, is it justice to any senior final, the crowd that was on the road today, and the excitement. If you wrote a script for this particular competition, you couldn't write a script as good as we had on the road today and the finish we had. The two men involved have given just Trojan service to the game. Noel says I've been a long time in the game, but these two men have been in the game long, long, long before I ever even thought of even joining ball coming. These men had done tremendous work for ball playing. And to the winner, the great Mick Barry, Christy Ring of ball playing. We have all heard down through the years, the Bill Bennett's, and I make no apologies to anyone. Mick Barry, I think, was the greatest man of all in bowling. Yeah. 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 Some men came and stayed for a few years, 
But there was no one came and stayed like me, Barry did from the years, 19 years of age into senior bowling and he's still one of the top today. Now, Tatena, we all know Tatena. Tatena has been a great supporter of the game down through the years. Very few give Tatena a chance today. And Tatena had his chances today if he took them, but he didn't. That's what makes bowling what it is today, as a game, as a sport. And all I can say is that I've enjoyed my years as secretary, as treasurer, and finally as chairman. And it shows our association. We've had two chairmen since this association was founded in 1954. And I hope that whoever takes the chair from me in the end of this month, that they will remain and be loyal to the game for the years to come. And now it gives me great pleasure. Congratulations to Tata for losing. But nevertheless, And it was with the help of a certain number of the executive of Bolcoman that I came back. I don't think I'd have come back without the pressure some of these people put on me. And now that I have come back and that I have achieved this, uh, I don't mind telling you that at nearly 73 years of age, uh, it's an honour to be back again. Now, I, I'd also like to say that it's terrible that there has to be you right, because Tierna was so good today that I felt that if we could cut it down the middle and give him half it, I'd be prepared to do it. Brendan just said that he hopes I'll be back again next year. Well, I hope so too, but that's all in the hands of the men above. Yeah. We're on borrowed time once we go over 70. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'd, like, I'd like to thank you all. Uh, I might have played better, but I played as good as I could. And uh, it was an achievement for the beat Tierna's last ball, which would have taken this trophy, I'd say, nine times out of ten. So I thank you all, and thank you for the congratulations, and congratulate Tierna as well for putting up such a great Ladies and gentlemen, excuse me, Brendan, please. Pleasure to play Big Barry today, as you all know. And about two years ago, I knew it was half a bit of a better today. Wasn't it? Two years ago, I had a bit of a mishap with the, with the association. I cleared that up. I was back today, and I'm proud to be back to play this man. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. I came up here today with no chance. I go home tonight. I'm very proud of myself and my, my family. Well done. 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 Well done.